I'm joined by Pakpong Akanawan, who works for Thai operator True. Pakpong, welcome. Right. Now, last year in Thailand, there was a major Spectrum auction. Um, what Spectrum did you win in that auction? Okay, last year, end of last year, December, we have uh, one, 1 1.8 gigahertz frequencies, 15 by 2 uh, megahertz. And on January this year, we won another 10 megahertz of uh, 900 megahertz spectrum. And how much money did you spend for that? In total, 3 billion US dollars. 3 billion? Uh, yes. Okay, wow, that's a lot of money. Yes. How does the network compare to other networks around the world in terms of size? In terms of size, uh, we can say that we are the world's largest 4.5G 44-hour network. We cover the whole, every urban area of every province in Thailand right now. So you spent a lot of money in the last year or so, Pat Pong. What kind of return are you seeing so far? We see a good sign of growing. And uh, with only six months that we start rolling out the network, with that frequencies, we see a big growth. In terms of revenue, uh, just last week, we have the reports, uh, third quarter reports of 31% revenue growth uh, year on year, right? And our subscriber growth from last year, I think uh, from last year we have 18 million subscribers. Now we're growing up to 22 something uh, million subscribers compared to competitors, which is uh, getting negative revenue growth. How important is it, do you think, for True to be a converged network player? I think that our strategies, and that's the key differentiate that other operators doesn't have it. Right? So we have all the bundles that the customer can have all the benefits that they, they can have. They can have our fixed broadband together with the mobile, and also cable TV in, in that. So that's uh, the real differentiate that we have. And beyond telecoms, um, True's parent company, CP, works mm -hmm. in a number of different industries, very different industries, but retail, agriculture. Do you think that gives you an opportunity to move into some other vertical industries? That's uh, our big uh, strategies that we're gonna leverage or what we have in the, in the whole groups. Right? We have 7-Elevens that uh, we start uh, leverage their channels for our sales point. We also <coughs> uh, start working on the uh, wide area narrowband IoT for the agriculture part and also logistic. That, uh, so it's going to be very good opportunities because we you see, all the IoT need to have collaboration between industry and this uh, very good opportunity for us. Pakpong, thank you very much for giving us that insight into true strategy. Thank you.